Hello friends! Thank you for joining me for story time. I'm so excited to read and sing with you today. So let's get started on our first book about shapes. Circle Square Moose by Kelly Bingham and Paul O. Zielinski. Shapes are all around us. We see them every day. Have you ever looked at a button? This one is a circle. What about that sandwich you had for lunch? That is a square. And if you look closely at a square, you will see that it is made of four equal. Hey, don't eat that. Look, this is a book about shapes, not animals. You are in the wrong book. And please put that sandwich back. It's our square. Shapes, I love shapes, chomp. Now, let's learn about triangles. Do you know what a triangle is? Yes, I do. Stop it. A triangle is a wedge of cheese, a piece of pie, or ears like these. Cute, but this is not an animal book. It is a shape book. You both need to leave. Let's talk about rectangles. A rectangle is a domino, a book to read, and a moose. Hello. You are in the wrong book. Out, please. A diamond is the shape in a crown, a flying kite, and a moose. Get down. Okay, you have to leave. You are ruining the book. This is a book about shapes. I'll handle this. Psst, Moose, come on. No. Time to leave now. No. A square is a pretty picture frame. Come back here. A shiny tile. Stop. Meow. Or a fun board game. What is a curve? A curve might be a snakey snake, a yo-yo trick, or a ribbon's wake. Uh-oh. Enough. Everyone out. I can't. I think I'm stuck. But I love shapes. Go. Uh, a little help. Moose. A circle is round. A circle is a polka dot. Help. A lollipop. Hurry. The sun's so hot. Don't worry, zebra. I'll handle this. Circles also make holes. Moose! Coming! That's it. I'm done. Goodbye. You can finish the book yourselves. Moose, we ruined the book. Good. We can finish this. There's only one shape left. The star. That's my favorite shape. But now we won't get to hear the rhyme. Zebra, trust me. A star is for zebra, my very good friend. Zebra and moose, friends to the end. Thank you, moose. You're welcome. The end. If you'd like reading response activities to go with this book, click the link below the video. There's also a link to buy the book for a screen-free story time. And please like, share, and subscribe for more read aloud videos. Thank you for reading with us. Wasn't that a fun book about shapes? Now we're gonna sing a counting song called Five Little Ducks. Can you show me your one, two, three, four, five fingers? Ready? Five little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 but only four little ducks came back. Four little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 but only three little ducks came back. Three little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 but only two little ducks came back. Two little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 but only one little duck came back. One little duck went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 but no little ducks came back. 
Mother duck went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 and all five little ducks came back. Yay! All the little ducks came back to the mama duck. Thank you for singing along with me. Now, let's read our second book about the alphabet. L-M-N-O-P's by Keith Baker. L-M-N-O-P's by Keith Baker. We are P's, alphabet P's. We work and play in the ABC's. We're acrobats, artists, and astronauts in space. We're builders, bathers, and bikers in a race. We're climbers, campers, and he's a circus clown. We're dancers, can you dig it? And drivers round town. We're eaters, electricians, and explorers searching land. We're farmers, flaggers, and best friends in a band. We're gardeners, gigglers, givers, and takers. We're hikers, inventors, and investigators. We're judges and jugglers, dishes, pins, and rings. We're kickers, kayakers, and some of us are kings. We're listeners, miners, and neighbors right next door. We're nurses, officers, and outlaws taking more. We're painters, poets, and plumbers fixing leaks. We're pilots, parachutists, we're peas, and we're unique. We're quilters, quarterbacks, and readers. Next page, please. We're scientists, swimmers, and sailors on the seas. We're truckers, teachers, everyone look here, and underwater divers. Voters, vets, and volunteers. We're weavers, wishers, and x-ray doctors, too. We're yogis in a pose and zoologists, that's who. We are peas from A to Z. Now tell us, please, who are you? If you like reading response activities to go with this book, click the link below the video. There's also a link to buy the book for a screen-free story time. Please like, share, and subscribe for more read aloud videos. Thank you for reading with us. Are you ready for our second song? This song's called, Here We Go Around the Mulberry Bush. And when we go around the mulberry bush, you can draw a circle in the air or maybe Families with their little ones can draw a little circle around their child's belly button. Ready? Here we go around the mulberry bush. Here we go around the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. Here we go around the mulberry bush on a cold and frosty morning. And now we're going to mix in a bowl. This is how we bake the bread, bake the bread, bake the bread. This is how we bake the bread on an early Saturday morning. Now we're gonna get dressed up. This is how we get dressed up. Get dressed up, get dressed up. This is how we get dressed up on a early Sunday morning. The, here we go round the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush, the mulberry bush. Here we go round the mulberry bush on a cold and frosty morning. Yay, thank you for singing with me. Now we're gonna read Another book that you may have read, but it's always fun to read the same books over and over because that's how we learn sight words and we can start to recognize those words in the book and rhymes and how words that look the same sound the same. So now we're going to read Hop on Pop and this is written and illustrated by Dr. Seuss. Hop on Pop by Dr. Seuss. Up, pup, pup is up. Cup, pup, pup in cup. Pup, cup, cup on pup. Mouse, house, mouse on house. House, mouse, house on mouse. All tall, we all are tall. All small, we all are small. 
all ball, we all play ball. Ball wall, up on a wall. All fall, fall off the wall. Day play, we play all day. Night fight, we fight all night. He, me, he is after me. Him, Jim, Jim is after him. See, B, we see a B. See, B, three, now we see three. Three tree, three fish in a tree, fish in a tree, how can that be? Red, red, they call me red, red bed, I am in bed. Red, Ned, Ted, and Ed in bed. Pat, Pat, they call him Pat. Pat sat, Pat sat on hat. Pat, cat, Pat sat on cat. Pat, bat, Pat sat on bat. No, Pat, no, don't sit on that. Sad dad, bad hat. Dad is sad, very, very sad. He had a bad day. What a day dad had. Thing, thing, what is that thing? Thing, sing, that thing can sing. Song, long, a long, long song. Goodbye, thing, you sing too long. Walk, walk, we like to walk. Walk, talk, we like to talk. Hop, pop, we like to hop. We like to hop on top of pop. Stop, you must not hop on pop. Mr. Brown, Mrs. Brown, Mr. Brown, upside down. Pop up, brown down, pop is down. Where is brown? Where is brown? There is brown. Mr. Brown is out of town. Back, black, brown came back. Brown came back with Mr. Black. Snack, snack, eat a snack. Eat a snack with brown and black. Jump, bump, he jumped, he bumped. Fast, past, he went past fast. Went tent, sent, he went into the tent. I sent him out of the tent. Wet get, two dogs get wet. Help, yelp, they yelp for help. Hill, will, will went uphill. Will, hill, still. Will is uphill still. Father, mother, sister, brother. That one is my other brother. My brothers read a little bit. Little words like if and it. My father can read big words too, like Constantinople and Timbuktu. Say, say, what does this say? Ask me tomorrow, but not today. See, he, me, we, pat, pop, pop. He, three, tree, be, top, hop, stop. If you'd like reading response activities to go with this book, click the link below the video. There's also a link to buy the book for screen free story time. Please like, share, and subscribe for more read aloud videos. Thank you for reading with us. Now we're going to sing one, two, book of my shoe. Ready? It's a quick counting song. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, open the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, shut the gate. Nine, ten, do it again. And if you want to, you can come up with new rhymes and new words with your family to make up your own song. Which, speaking of rhymes, we're going to read a rhyming book called Wake Up Little Owl. Wake Up Little Owl by Gareth Llewellyn and Kirsten Irving. Night is falling, quiet and cool. Little owl must dash to school. Bats and foxes are keen to learn, but little owl sleeps through her turn. As they play the night school song, little owl snores right along. Show and tell is the best, but little owl just wants to rest. Teacher wakes owl from her doze, and how she blushes beak to toes. Practice time for parents' night, but one young star is out of sight. Ding dong ding, there's the bell. Sleepy students say farewell. Little Al has snoozed all night. Now she's up feeling button bright. Little Al, it's time to sleep. I don't want to hear a peep. 
Now it's time for you to rest. Mommy always knows what's best. If you'd like reading response activities to go with this book, click the link below the video. There's also a link to buy the book for a screen-free story time. Please like, share, and subscribe for more Read Aloud videos like this. Thank you for reading with us. For this song, you're gonna do some hand motions. So you're gonna do the rain is falling down, splash. And then you do the sun is peeking out, peeking here, peeking there. The sun is peeking out. Ready? Ready for rain fingers? The rain is falling down, splash. The rain is falling down, splash. Pitter patter, pitter patter, the rain is falling down. Splash, the sun is peeking out. Peekaboo, the sun is peeking out. Peekaboo, peeking here, peeking there, the sun is peeking out. Peekaboo. Thank you for singing along with me. We're gonna read a book you may know where the wild things are where the wild things are story and pictures by maurice sendak the night max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind and another his mother called him wild thing and max said i'll eat you up so he was sent to bed without eating anything that very night in Max's room, a forest grew and grew and grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through night and day. And in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Till Max said, be still, and tamed them with the magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all and made him king of all wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around, from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, Oh, please don't go, we'll eat you up, we love you so. And Max said, No. The wild things roared their terrible roars, and gnashed their terrible teeth, and rolled their terrible eyes, and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped to his private boat and waved goodbye and sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day and into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. Our next nursery rhyme is Little Miss Muffet. So you can put your arms like this because this is how Little Miss Muffet sits. And we'll do it twice so you can follow along with me. Ready? Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Ready? Little Miss Muffet arms. Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. <laughs> Isn't that silly? Now we're going to read Mouse Paint. Mouse Paint by Ellen Stoll Walsh. 
Once there were three white mice on a white piece of paper. The cat couldn't find them. One day, while the cat was asleep, the mice saw three jars of paint, one red, one yellow, and one blue. They thought it was mouse paint. They climbed right in. Then one was red, one was yellow, and one was blue. They dripped puddles of paint onto the paper. The puddles looked like fun. The red mouse stepped into a yellow puddle and did a little dance. His red feet stirred the yellow puddle until... Look, he cried. Red feet in a yellow puddle make orange. The yellow mouse hopped into a blue puddle. His feet mixed and stirred and stirred and mixed until... Look down, said the red mouse and the blue mouse. Yellow feet in a blue puddle make green. Then the blue mouse jumped into a red puddle. He splashed and mixed and danced until... Purple, they all shouted. Blue feet in a red puddle make purple. But the paint on their fur got sticky and stiff, so they washed themselves down to a nice soft white and painted the paper instead. They painted one part red and one part yellow and one part blue. They mixed red and yellow to paint an orange part, yellow and blue to paint a green part, and blue and red to paint a purple part. But they left some white because of the cat. The last song we're going to do is a very special song called The More We Get Together. And we are going to sing and do sign language, meaning we're going to sign or act out the words with our hands, okay? So I'm gonna show you the signs and then we'll do the song together. So more, we put our fingers together like this, more. We get together, get together, more, get together. Happy, happier will be. And we say, when your friends, my friends, your friends, my friends. Okay, so more, get together, happier will be your friends and my friends. Okay, you ready? And if you just want to listen and maybe sing along the first time and not do all the hand motions, that's okay. It took me a long time to learn the sign language. And that's why you can always rewatch this video again and again. Ready? The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Yay! Thank you so much for singing and reading with me today. I hope you had just as much fun as I did and I look forward to seeing you in another class soon. Bye!